So thank you very much for joining us. I'm happy to explain a little bit about UPS technologies and the differences in the main concepts we see in the market today, which is on the first hand the so-called static system and also the rotary system. So a few words about the company Pillar. Pillar is an old German company. Old means more than 100 years. Of course, not more than 100 years in UPS, but in electrical machines, which was the basis for our business. And nowadays, Pillar has more than 1,000 employees all around the world. And here in Slovenia, we have a cooperation with the company NTR. So we support NTR with our projects with the rotary and the statics. And that is already some of the specialities. Pillar is actually the only supplier of UPS technology in the static system as well as in the rotary system. And even that fact gives us a quite unique position on the market because we are able to consult our customers technically from both ends. Because both technologies have their own individual advantages or disadvantages just subject to the individual project. And these kind of differences I'm going to explain now in my presentation. So first of all, we see an overview about the concept of a static UPS, which has main components of a rectifier, an inverter, and somewhere in the middle we see typically a battery connected. So normal, normal way of operation is that the mains AC is rectified to a DC where the battery works on and then again an AC is created. So this kind of technology is typically using just electronic components. It's just made of control electronic and power electronic and nowadays we find the so-called IGBTs means very fast switching power transistors inside there to create the output voltage. On the other hand we see a technology called rotary UPS and this rotary UPS is actually based on the functionality of a combination of a motor and a generator. So these two engines are combined nowadays in a so-called uniblock machine. So we have just a single set of rotative part inside there, which is carrying two windings inside, a motor winding and a generator winding. And all this is connected via a choke to isolate the mains from the load. So what we see here are more or less electromagnetic components. 